Hello, I'm Tim Krull. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Central. Welcome back to another video. Norwich 1, Sheffield United 2. Norwich were winning 1-0 at half-time and looked completely comfortable, but second-half performance from Sheffield United, which they completely turned the game on its head. They were the better team and Sheffield United deserved to beat us. They've adapted to the Premier League better than us and if Norwich City continue to play like that, with that second half performance they're going to go down. This is going to be a social media reaction. Leave me your thoughts down below and I will get back to you. But yes, yeah, a very disappointing day for the Canaries. Um, and yeah, let's see what social media has to say and I'll, I'll give my thoughts as well. Uh, Edward says, not good enough. No excuses, no positives, no straws to clutch and no light at the end of the tunnel, it would seem. Sheffield United believe they would win even when behind. We seem scared by the thought of even, even when we're ahead. Beyond disappointing. It's a good point made there. Sheffield United have got a terrific away record. I don't think they've lost since January. Um, they, they've got a brilliant away record and they had that in the Championship as well. And you felt even, you felt like the Sheffield United would be able to turn on an extra gear. And once they went 2-1 up, you felt like Norwich City wouldn't be able to get back in the game. Now, remember last season, the amount of late goals, the Mario Rancic late goals, the, the late goals against Millwall, Blackburn, um, so many teams... Um, Sheffield Wednesday, so many incredible memories, but you never felt like we was going to get that late goal and we never looked like we was going to perform like that. And Sheffield United seem to have this inner belief and quality as well at both ends of the pitch, which Norwich City haven't shown this season. Uh, Melissa says, if there ever was a game of two half, that was it. Norwich City confident, sharp, organised and on top first. Sloppy, unimaginative, slow second. Sheffield United were always going to get a rocket after that first half. Instead of trying to counteract, we just uh, retreated. Leicester next, um, and a quite a worried emoji. Um, yeah, it's a really good point, and I've, I've said this in my match review. Look, Aston Villa lost today, Southampton lost today. Aston Villa, especially Southampton, they don't particularly look a great team, and if we won this game, we'd have only been one point off 17th place. But the fact of the matter is, we didn't win this game. And with that second half of performance, as you say, sloppy, unimaginative and slow, we won, and we're never going to win it. Um, really, really disappointing. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's disappointing to see because, I, for me, I can see there is talent there. With that first-half performance, we were sharp against Arsenal. I think we, we deserve to win that game. Uh, Everton as well, we were defensively organised. But today, in that second half, it just killed us, completely killed us. Um, Philip uh, Phillips says, another game, another VAR shit show. Um, let's talk about VAR the better. I think VAR should have gave Sheffield United a penalty. And I wasn't sure about the overturned red card, but nevertheless, the, the fact that VAR takes so long to make a decision is killing the killing the joy out of game. And um, VAR, there's got to be some kind of review in terms of how uh, quickly decisions can be made because it's destroying the game. Um, Norris City HQ says says a lot when 33 year old injury prone Alex Tetty is our main man to create goals. Yes, um, we've actually got. A, I think our, I think Alex Tetty obviously he played against Everton, Manchester City. Um, we seem to have a really good winning record when Alex Tetty plays as opposed to when he doesn't play. Uh, and yeah, Alex Tetty's actually played really well in recent weeks. He protects our back line quite well. Um, he's someone who you know doesn't like to get forward, he just sits back. But you know he created an assist against Southampton and he scored a fantastic goal as well against Sheffield United. Um, yeah, it says a lot. And players like Emi Buendia, Marco Stupinman, even Ono Hernandez, but particularly Buendia and Stupin, who got 10 goals between them in the Championship, haven't been able to step up, really, in the Premier League. They've shown glimpses here and there, but not on a consistent enough basis. And we're relying, I think, too much on Puki to score goals. Campbell's chipping in, he's doing well, but I just don't I don't think we've got enough going forward offensively. And could we have invested more in the summer? Probably. Uh, although I do believe Weber, you know, is Weber's doing all he can with that kind of budget. We are recruiting players, you know, Sam Byron for seven hundred and fifty thousand is an excellent buy. So I don't think you can really put blame on Weber, but we probably did need to invest a little bit more. Um, Big Badger says, "How many times have we given all lead away this season? Will anybody with any real talent or potential seriously want to join us in January? No. Um, defensively." <sighs> I don't really know how to solve it. I mean, Everton, we, we were fantastic and that was the blueprint for a perfect away performance. But we don't seem to be able to re replicate that. And yeah, we've, but it's a really good point. We've, we've conceded too many leads and, you know, in the championship, as I mentioned last season, we'd be able to continue going on. We'd never give up. We'd score so many late goals. Uh, but we're giving away too many leads. We did that in our last game at Carrow Road against Arsenal and that, that would be the death of us. But for me... I mean, there's a lot of negativity, and I think rightly so, to be honest, because we've played a lot of poor teams and been comfortably beat by them. 
But for me, I still think there's... Let's remember that season in which we got promoted from the Championship was excellent. I still think there is talent there. And we show in glimpses, I think, that we can stay up. We show we can be defensively organised. We show that we have got some real talent and some you know sharp play going forward. But we don't do it on a consistent enough basis. And that is the real worry. Um, and that's just so, so disappointing. Um, because there's a good team there. Uh, Craig says, we all knew Sheffield United would come out all guns blazing in the second half. So why did our players get caught out by it? The second half was embarrassing. Yep. Sheffield United obviously scoring two goals, two quick fire goals, and the Goldrick should have scored a couple of goals themselves. I think the scoreline was quite lucky to be two one in the end. Uh, they came out all guns blazing, didn't they? And the two goals we conceded was so poor. So just a ball in from their right wing back, and their left wing back six yards out wins the header. It's schoolboy defending, and um, Christoph Zinnemann has come in and he's done a good job. He provides a bit of authority, a bit of leadership, but even with him, he's still going to make mistakes and. You know, he can't stop goals and Max Ahrens is at fault for that goal. And the second goal, it's a really, really poor to allow Bulldog that much space. And we looked shell-shocked. Norwich City were shell-shocked. And uh, Bulldog scored too easily. And, and Norwich City is conceding too many easy goals. Whereas you compare, us to, compare Norwich to Sheffield United, they're a team who aren't easily conceding goals. They're solid, they're defensively sound. And that's why they're, you know, in the top half of the table, flying high and all being happy and cheery. Uh, Jack says, nothing more than we deserve. Brilliant first half. Forgot to show up in the second. Sheffield United deserved it. What a job Wilder has done. Come back stronger in a few years. Another Norwich City fan who possibly seems resigned to us getting relegated. Look, we've still got another half of the season to play. I still think there is an opportunity. But uh, defensively, if we continue how we have, we're not, we're not going to do well. And do I see us, do I see us continuing putting in defensive mistakes? Probably. Um, but yeah, as I said, brilliant first half, but you've got to be able to play football for 90 minutes and Norwich City in recent weeks haven't really been able to do that. Um, and after, you know, four points from Everton and Arsenal to follow it up with Southampton and Sheffield United with two really disappointing losses is annoying. And we're going to finish with, well, two more comments. Connor says, once again, Norwich have only got themselves to blame. Frustrating given the impressive first half performance. All Sheffield United has to, had to do was up their levels for five minutes, introduce a high press and then defend deep. City seemed incapable of beating them. Yep, Sheffield United for five minutes turned on the turned on the gears. Were very clinical, um, and Norwich City defended poorly. And once they got their once they got their two one lead, as I said, defended well. Norwich City haven't got the creativity to break them down. We possibly could have invested, maybe in another winger to improve that. Um, but nevertheless, I wouldn't say it's too much Weathers' fault because for the money he was given, he did it. He's done a great job to get us this far. And finally, Jack says, Brighton, 2-0 loss. Palace, 2-0 loss. Burnley, 2-0 loss. West Ham, 2-0 loss. Watford, 2-0 loss. Villa, 5-1 loss. Southampton, 2-1. And Sheffield United, 2-1. All losses. All beat us with absolute ease and comfort. Season over. That's quite damaging. Um, but it does show that, you know, we're coming up against teams in and around us and we've been beaten too easily, especially away from home. So that's uh, social media's thoughts. And yeah, overall, really, really disappointing day for the Canaries. And we're seeing too many performances in which Norwich City switch off for spells in the game and they get punished. Um, defensively, we're conceding goals too easy. And going forward, uh, I think we've got enough at Carrow Road. I think we've shown that we, we can score goals at Carrow Road. But away from home, uh, we have, we, we're not scoring enough goals. We're not creating enough chances. I think we've only scored four away goals all season and we're probably too reliant on Pukki. And... Um, Look, Fark is doing a, a good job with these players. Weber's recruited well, but I think I think we've probably should have invested in a few more players and had a bit more money to spend. Uh, but that's it. My thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Uh, Leicester away. That's going to be fun, isn't it? Norwich City lose to Sheffield United two one. Leave your thoughts down below. Subscribe to Norwich City Central. Have a good one.